So you want to learn how to identify your aiming mistakes, but you have no idea where to start. And every video is trying to sell you on specific ways to improve your aim, and it can get kind of confusing. Look no further. After watching this video, you will know more about VOD reviewing than 99% of people. And most importantly, you will learn how to take care of your own improvement. Let's get into it. Number one, good eyesight is needed. This is a concept you need to drill into your head and never forget. Good VOD reviews need good eyesight. VOD reviewing is not like your aim training, but by fixing this one setting, we can both improve our visuals and VOD review simultaneously. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, I want you to use this reg edit in the description. It's very safe and a basic tweak that allows for NVIDIA sharpness to be modified. Do not confuse your current image scaling with image sharpening. I personally use these settings here in the NVIDIA control panel. If you do not see a stark difference in your image quality, then you may need to go into program settings and adjust it on the individual game you're playing. Here's the difference sharpness can make to your game. So why am I being told to increase my sharpness? It makes no sense. Well, for a lot of people who play on 27 inch monitors, there simply aren't enough pixels for your monitor to create a sharp image, at least in 1920. This often makes our image look blurry and in a world full of these cluttered games where visual recoil or effects come into play, it's often hard to see where your aim is and adjust it live. This is particularly great if you feel like you have a lazy eye. I've used this on a number of people and they all say it almost feels like your eyes are awake and you can finally see what you're shooting at. So how does any of this tie into VOD reviewing? The way this works is by removing that blurriness, we can finally spot where our crosshair lands and be able to adapt live. See, previously, I'd have a huge issue of spotting my mistakes. It's only when I looked at my VODs that I understood what my issue is. But now with this sharpness setting, it's like I can see exactly what mistakes I'm making and fix them live, which is huge. All aim is built on this concept, but so few people understand it. Instead of VOD reviewing and being confused, you should strategically use patterns and structure. These help further your aim training goals, make your aim smooth and healthy without adding other people's opinion about your aim. Number two, look for patterns. There's actually two parts to this. The part that focuses on patterns and the part that focuses on the mistakes. An unhealthy review creates conditions for a faulty approach and lots of time wasted. So by the time you aim train, it won't actually further your goals. What we want to do is look for patterns. This means if you're consistently flicking very hard and adjusting very slow, this would propose that you have slow micros and also the fact that you're accelerating very hard requires a very hard deceleration just per gravity. You now need to fix that. Do not simply look for whiffs, but normal engagements that you do every day. Look how you play wide wall static compared to normal and try to spot where you can improve. Try to see how you smoothly track compared to react and then track and try to spot where you can improve. You learn how to improve by visiting resources like my FAQ or my Aiming 101 file on my Discord. The third part is actually structure. How do you feel that day? Which playlist did you play? And what categories did that playlist contain? Did it help you or not? All of these are valuable questions you must ask yourself. We can get into this habit of believing what we're doing is correct because we heard it somewhere or it's worked for us in the past. But this is where timings come into play. And it's something I talk about in my FAQ. We cannot simply do what worked for us in the past since our timings have now passed on. The simplest way I can explain this is that a beginner cannot play hard scenarios. That doesn't mean hard is bad, but it's not the right timing for him. So by identifying what stage you're on by using something like my newly done STS benchmarks, we specifically work to help you identify that. And by effectively VOD reviewing, you can precisely see the following steps you need to take to get better aim. Important to note, however, is that a beginner is most likely bad at everything. This means less VOD reviewing and more good playlists that can be found in my GitHub. Once you get closer to an intermediate level, you can bother more and more with your views. This is because most of the issues a beginner faces naturally disappear with skill. 
since those newbie issues only appear as a consequence of skill missing and not a direct flaw to your aim, but your overall mouse control. Make sure to follow our channel for much more. Thanks for watching.